What's up guys and welcome back to another video right into my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna basically tell you how to improve your FPS in Apex Legends. Um, before we start right into the video guys, I just want to you guys know, let you guys know that I would really really appreciate it if you would just leave a like, a comment or a subscription right onto my YouTube channel. It would really mean the world to me. So subscribing is free for you guys and would be a massive support, support for me. So be sure to hit the subscribe button before we start right into the video. I'll thank you for that now and let's get right started. So um, the first thing you want to basically do is uh, open up your um, folders and go to this PC um, and click on it, right click it, properties. Once this window pops up, you basically go to change settings. And afterwards you get that go to advanced and hit settings on performance. Once this window once this window pops up, you're basically gonna just adjust for best performance, and afterwards you just can hit apply. This will be uh, helping you improving your FPS. Um, the next step you're gonna basically do is uh, return return to your desktop and navigate to the bottom left corner of your screen. Click on the window symbol, click on settings. And once this window pops up, you navigate to system. Click it and stay right on display. Now you need to know which uh, monitor you're using if you have more than one. Uh, once you identify the right one, you scroll down and go to scale and layout. Where well, you just check if you have uh, the size of your text apps and other items on 100%. Uh, the same is for your display resolution where you check that you have the same native resolution as in game. So for example, if you have 1720 by 1070 in game you can basically you have to change this 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 display resolution to the same The next step is going to notifications and actions once we are here uh, We ensure that we disable uh, notifications and uh, notifications because we don't want uh, annoying not big as notifications popping up uh, in the right bottom corner of our screen first of all because they are annoying obviously and the second thing is because um our PC needs to render it anyway and we don't need them, so just turn them off. The next step we're gonna basically do is um, navigating to power and sleep. And uh, on this specific window we can't really do anything, uh, but we can navigate to additional power settings. And check here if we can uh, do high performance. Sometimes this could lead to overheating or our PC gets too loud. In this case, you need, just need to uh, improve your uh, cooldown uh, on your PC or you just try to get it um, really uh, s slower again or just um, not that hot. If it, nothing works, you just need to uh, turn it back on balanced. Next step is going to storage. And here you click on configure storage sensor, run it now. Uh, here you're just basic, basically gonna copy my settings. This will help you to blow out every single temporary file we don't really need in our system, which just sucks performance and uh, storage. So just copy my settings and afterwards cl uh, hit clean now. Once you did that, you can basically return back to your main settings where you can choose where to go. And afterwards you just hit gaming. Once you hit gaming, you go to game bar and turn that off because we don't really need the game bar, it's just sucking off our performance and we don't really need them. Um, afterwards you go to captures, and that's a really big point because um, if you have this on on, right here you just turn it off because we don't want obviously windows to record in the background, this will just um, take a lot of performance and also a lot of FPS. So be sure to turn it off and if you want to record something, you're basically not going to use Windows for that, but you're using a specific application in order to record properly. Uh, the next step is going to game mode and uh, here it just depends on which graphics card you're using. If you're having Nvidia GeForce, turn this on. If you have AMD, turn this off, but it's also depending specifically on your system. You just need to check which one is better for you. Once you did that, you can basically go back. And the last one, last thing you're gonna do on this side is navigating to update and security, and check if you have the latest Windows version. If not, just download this, and uh, so you can ensure that you're using the best performance for your system. Afterwards, you close it, and be sure that you have the latest version of your graphics card. 
Uh, so you have AMD or you have NVIDIA GeForce, just um, ensure that you have downloaded the latest version of your graphics card. So you can basically ensure that you have the best optimal performance for your system. Uh, you're providing your best performance. And the last step you're gonna basically do is uh, navigate into your taskbar, right click it, open up your task manager, and now you're just gonna close every single application, every single background process, which you're not using currently because every single process, every single application needs performance, needs GPU or CPU, and you don't really need that. So close every single progress, which has nothing to do with your game. The same is for startup and disable every single uh, application you don't really need for your game. Yeah, guys, I hope I could actually help you out with this one. If it was like that, just leave a like, a comment, or a subscription right onto my channel. It would really help me out um, growing up my YouTube channel. And uh, yeah, guys, I hope you have a wonderful day. See you at the next one, and bye.